All right, so that last lesson I did on Thrill is Gone, I did a lot of explaining on how to do the playing and stuff, but I didn't do a lot of playing chords in the background for you to play over. So I'm going to do this in two different keys. I like to do it in G minor. I believe the original, like the B.B. King version, is in uh, B flat minor. So we're going to quick look at the arpeggios one more time and the scale that would work. So here's G. We'd have the G minor scale, the Aeolian mode. And the chords are going to be G minor, G minor 7, C minor, or C minor 7, E flat, major 7, and D7. So those arpeggios is this. Here's the G minor 7. And so once again with arpeggios, when you're playing those notes of the arpeggio, you're playing exactly with the chord. If you play any of the other notes of the scale, those aren't chord tones at that time. Those are like passing tones from the rest of the scale. So we're going to go to the um, C minor 7 arpeggio. So when it's on the C minor 7 chord, those are the more accurate notes to the chord. And the other notes would be notes that create kind of a tension that wants to get released to one of those chord tones. Now here goes the E flat major 7. We can do it like this. We can take that up. We got the D7. We could also do that like this. We have the D7 down here, or you could do it like this. Okay, so here goes those chords for you. Three, four. Got four bars of that G minor. C minor. flat major 7, D7, back to G minor. I like to do this little turn here where I go back to those chords. Now this time we're going to have a different ending. And I believe this is more like the BB King version. So we got the same chords getting it going. Now for this E flat, I'm going to do a dominant 7. Down to D7. I'm not going to do that turnaround. There we go, start it again. So that would be more like the original kind of version, or the BB King version. E flat, dominant seven. And G minor the rest of the way through. Okay, last time through, I'm going to show you a cool little uh, jazzy chord trick on the C minor chord. Like the E flat major seven, D seven. Do that turn around. Sometimes that little G minor nine sounds nice to finish off a song like that in that key, or anything with that minor kind of feel. So that little trick I did.
that's a C minor to a C minor major seven, which is like three, five, four, four, to a C minor seven, three, five, three, four, to a uh, minor six, which would have. So each note kind of goes down on that one string. You got your C minor, C minor major seven with the B in it. You got the B flat, the C minor seven. You got the A and the C minor six. Okay, uh, the other key would be B flat. So I think this is the probably the BB King version. So two, we're gonna do the same thing. We got our B flat minor seven arpeggio. We got our E flat minor seven arpeggio. We have our G flat major seven and our F dominant seven. And of course, like I said, you can make those that, that six to five chord, you can make those both sevens if you wanted. And think about the dominant seven. And then on this version, it doesn't have those turnaround chords at the end either. So here we go, B flat. Ready to go, two, three, and. good thing to try is all pentatonic minor. See if you can play over all those changes with just pentatonic minor and try to make it sound good. that helped out thrill is gone jam along improv lesson all right talk to you soon i'm damon like and subscribe if you dig it thanks a lot check you out later